Hey everybody, what's up? It's Max Von Essen, and you are watching Swonderful, my Broadway.com vlog. I'm so excited to share things with you. I'm going to be backstage at the palace with the cast and crew and everyone here at, the, at American in Paris. So much cool stuff has been going on, and um, you'll see what's been going on this last week here. And actually, even a little bit more than that, because last week was our opening night and everything it was really exciting. So I'm going to take you, give you a little sneak, sneak peek into what was going on there and the gypsy robe ceremony on opening day. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's a really cool ceremony, so it always happens opening night backstage, on stage, about two hours before the show. Also, I'll take you into the party for like just a little minute. I was um, having too much fun, so I wasn't thinking about too much other than just enjoying it. But I'll give you a little sneak peek into the party. I appeared on Andy Cohen, Watch What Happens Live on Bravo as the guest bartender, so snuck you into that for a moment. And then I was on Good Day New York and I snuck you into that for a minute. <laughs> And then the big chunk, I think, this week is probably our Broadway cast recording, which was so cool, so awesome. It was only my second Broadway cast recording I've ever done, and certainly the best role I've ever gotten to record and all this awesome Gershwin music. So I bring you into that, so you'll see a little bit of that. And then um, that's basically it, you know, because there's a lot going on. And I promise in future weeks I'll give you a little more hands-on what's going on backstage here at the Palace. But there was... So much going on outside of the theater this week that I had to do and the cast was doing that I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at that. So come along if you're not following me already on Twitter at MaxiesPad. Follow Broadway.com too at Broadway.com and start tweeting me some ideas if you, anything you want to see particularly here and we'll do a Q&A and all that you know in a future episode so don't worry. But if there's anything specific or people you really want to meet backstage let me know. Shout it out to me and Broadway.com. And I'll start making a list, and I'll give you guys exactly what you want, ish. I'll think about it, and then I'll then I'll then I'll decide what I really want to give you. Come along with me, have fun on my first episode, first vlog of Swonderful, and um, just enjoy it. And I'll see you in future weeks, okay? All right, Broadway.com. It is opening night. As you can see from the craziness in here. The flowers, the gorgeousness, but I just want to take you and show you a little bit. Sorry, I'm inhaling a salad and show you the gypsy robe ceremony. So come with me, gonna check it out on stage. I'm late. Let's go. Hey, Broadway.com vlog, hey, Broadway filming, vlog. filming, Broadway live com. Periscope, Broadway.com, live streaming at the gypsy <laughs> robe <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> That is everyone who's making their Broadway debut tonight. <laughs> when Bill Bradley, a chorus dancer in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, asked Florence Baum, a chorus girl, for her dressing gown. Bill then sent it to Arthur Partington, a chorus dancer at the Imperial Theater, where Call Me Madam was opening that night with a note proclaiming, the robe has been worn by all the Zigfield beauties and would bless their show. A cabbage rose from one of Ethel Merman's gowns was attached by the robe by Arthur and it was set to on to the opening night of the next chorus musical, Guys and Dolls. The gypsy robe is awarded to the member of the chorus who has the most Broadway musical chorus credits. The honored gypsy puts on the robe, circles the stage three times counterclockwise, and everyone touches the robe. The gypsy, still wearing the robe, then visits all the dressing rooms, and the show is blessed. <laughs> on behalf of Cameron Adams and myself, it is my great pleasure to present the Gypsy Robe for an American in Paris to Miss Jenny Ford.
This is Broma.com. Hi. Are you familiar with Anne Harada? <laughs> yes, she, my yes. dad. She barely ever works. It's Andrew Reynolds. Andrew Reynolds. Yeah. It's Broadway.com, Andrew Reynolds. What? What is that? I was like, this is camera. Patty Mira. <laughs> Say hello. Billy Actor. Say hello to Broadway.com. Hello, that's Broadway.com. Hey. <laughs> I'm back. This is the day after the opening, so I'm a little bit exhausted, but it was an incredible night, and I am here at Andy Cohen. Watch what happens live on Bravo, and I am the guest bartender tonight, which seems right because I'm still hungover from last night's party. Let's take you guys there. Come on. Come with me, Broadway.com. Backstage at Andy Cohen. some drinks. Alright, another commercial break. It's going well so far. Giving me a lot of drinks. People in the audience are laughing at me for doing this Broadway.com vlog right now, but I don't really care. Check out everything. That's right. I'm in the clubhouse. See you guys later. I'm going to sign off now. Thanks for coming with me. Good morning. I am, well, first of all, I had an amazing time at Andy Cohen the other night. It was incredible. So much fun. Now it's a few days later, and I'm actually headed to Fox. I'm going to do a little segment on Good Day New York today. Not singing or anything, just going to do a quick little interview with Rosanna Scotto and Greg Kelly. I'm excited to see them and talk about American in Paris. It's Friday morning. It's early. Here we go. It doesn't matter. I heard a rumor that Laura Michelle Kelly is here. <laughs> You're doing a Broadway job, aren't you? So am I. Know. Just That's like, why I thought, I this, I thought this would be so crazy that we're both overlapping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're I saw you in the street the other day. I was driving by in a taxi. I was like so excited. Can you believe this? Can it's like a reunion. Yeah, I'm not singing. I'm just doing an interview. Oh, I'm singing. I, I know. I can't wait. Everyone already said how gorgeous you sound. Okay, this is crazy, everyone. You know her already. <laughs> and you'll know me soon. I'll see you later. Such a small world. There she is on the TV, and here she is, in, she's in the studio too. You can hear her live. She's amazing. I love this. Well, I'm back home. Guys, they wouldn't let me shoot in the studio, so um, couldn't get any footage there, but so I came home so I could watch myself on TV. It's an American pa in Paris, I guess. It's about an American in Paris. Yes, I'm not the American in Paris, but it's about what, what are you? Yeah. The French I'm guy. the French guy in Paris. But, you know, we keep it <laughs> So meanwhile, uh, it's me. I'll get you guys more backstage stuff at the palace. But this was just so cool today and Andy Cohen the other night that I just want to share a little bit of some of these cool things that are happening, happening outside of the theater. But I can't wait to get you guys back in and show you all over. All right, see you soon. <laughs> It's Brandon pretending to sing. We are at the cast recording of An American in Paris. We're here at Avatar Studios. Got the orchestra, Todd Ellison in command. We're gonna see what happens, so I'll try to check in a couple times today. <gasps> Wish us luck. Hey, Garen, what's your favorite part of working on a Monday? Money. 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 <laughs> Money. Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> 
Hey everybody, say hi to Broadway.com. Money. 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 That's a warm up. Money, 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 money. Come on. Come on, I got fidgety feet, fidgety feet, fidgety feet. Oh, what? Fidgety feet, fidgety feet, fidgety feet. <laughs> I'm going back to my room. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Whoa. Um, uh, Brandon and I were laughing at you um, filming yourself. What was I filming you, myself? Like, mm -hmm. I was filming you. Oh, yeah, oh that part. <laughs> I filmed it, but hang on. Cheers. Cheers. You're doing so I'm just good. Drunk in Are you having myself. fun? I'm having the time of my life. Is this your first cast recording? First time being in a recording studio ever. Re Shut. <laughs> you guys. History. <laughs> Brandon? Yeah. You having fun? <laughs> Nailing it. Jill Pace in the house. Now we got Jill here. We're about to do Who Cares? And for you, for me, forevermore. It's going well. We got a lot of people in here. <laughs> We got cameras on cameras. We're about halfway through the day. Things are going really well. I can't wait to you guys hear this on June 2nd when the album comes out. What's up? It's a two-show day here at the palace, and I'm getting ready with my little pre-show ritual where I listen to this song called I've Dreamt I Was Back in Paris, recorded by Georges Guitary from who played Henri in the movie of An American in Paris. I love it. And then home again across the sand, twinkling, twinkling lights on the key. I dream the old rotunda in Montparnasse. Ah, we sat to find the crowd. I love his voice, it's so sweet. Watch the pass. When was a year? The month was a man. Dreaming a new, I dreamed I was back in Paris. I hope my dreams come true. Uh oh, you know what that means? That music means we're starting. All right, Brandon's about to do his monologue. I'm about to head to the stage, and this has been. Our first vlog together, hmm? I hope you had fun, and um, I had a great time getting started. I know we're all over the place, a lot of things outside of the theater, but I um, wanted to give you a taste of some things that happen beyond what's going here at the palace. So, see you guys next week. Thanks for joining me. See you soon. For four years, the city of light went dark. There was violence and swastikas in the streets. Time to go Let's do a show. the liberation. You can't blame me for feeling amorous. Oh, it's wonderful. So you guys, apparently today, oh, no. Leanne was telling a story to her dresser and punched her in the face. I did. Are you okay, Mitch? Broadway.com wants to know if you're all right. <laughs> I did run my and get viewers, her ice. My viewers really need to know. Max, we're now calling her Rocky Balboa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally Little Boo, so now I'm Rocky Balboa. Broadway's dangerous, don't you forget it.